Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you happen to be watching this. Welcome back to another episode of Barnet Bound. Now, in today's episode, this is massive. We are currently sat in 11th place, two points off the playoffs, two games to go. We're going to be doing a double live com today. Two points off the playoffs, you would think we're probably in a decent shot. We take on second place Sheffield United and third place Coventry City. It, <laughs> of all teams we could be playing, we have to be playing the two of the teams in the top three. It can only be Barnet Bound. Join me for a double live com. It's going to be interesting. Run the intro. So yeah, this is the form since we last saw each other. The last game was the Portsmouth one. Absolutely soul-destroying that game. We then followed up with two nil-nil draws back to back. I was just and I, I honestly I thought we'd blown it. I honestly thought we'd blown it. But three wins in a row. Doncaster, AFC Wimbledon, and uh, just recently against Shrewsbury have set us up perfectly for the next two games. But if we look at the league table, I'll show you why. It's so much up to play for, you know, so much to play for. This, honestly, it could not be any closer if it tried. So, yeah, this is the current league table. Look at it. We're in 11th, two points off. Absolutely fine. You could probably say anyone from Scunthorpe down here in 12th, all the way up here, is in with a shout. It's just ridiculous. I mean, five points separating... 5th to 12th with two games to go. It is literally going to change all the time. We have got two of the toughest matches we could have possibly picked. Um, so I don't know how things are going to go today. I really don't know. If we can get into the playoffs, then there'll be more Barnet Bound. If not, we'll do a season review, a bit of a roundup, and then I'm afraid we're going to have to call it quits. But let's not think about that at the moment. Let's just purely concentrate on these two. Let's get to the point of game day against Sheffield United and let's see how we can do. So I'm just trying to move move me out of the way so you can actually see the team two team lineups. This is how we are. We've gone back to our 4-4-2 counter-attacking formation because the defensive side of things was doing all right in terms of not conceding many, but we just weren't scoring any. So I've gone to a 4-4-2 counter-attacking with Hazel Dean and Tom Youngs up top. If we can just get the ball quickly up to those guys... They've got the pace and the finishing ability to really cause teams some damage. The rest of the team as it is, I'm not even going to look at the Sheffield United team. I'm not interested. We're away from home. Fingers crossed we can get a good result and set ourselves up nicely for the Coventry game. But there's so many score lines to try and keep an eye on. Let's just get straight into the match. There are so many different games going on today. I, re I really just don't know where to even begin trying to look and see who's doing what. I just, I've just seen some of the names on the Sheffield United team. No wonder they're at the top of this division. Jesus, we're in for an absolutely massive battle today. So Preston have made a good start. They're 2-0 up against Doncaster. And they're now in the final playoff spot. But this is the first opportunity of the game. Is it going to go to us? Is it going to go to them? A lot of pinball. The ball is currently in their area of the box. They don't deal with it. Hazel Dean picks up the ball. Plays it back to Randall. Ricky Holmes inside to Tom Youngs. He's onside. <laughs> He's onside. What a start to the game. Oh my word. I thought he was offside. So he plays Randall out to Ricky Holmes. No, the right back. The right back is actually keeping him onside. That's a great header. First shot of the game and we're 1-0 up. They've had 77% 70, 70 possession, 9 shots, and we're somehow 1-0 up. But I may have spoken too soon, or got excited too soon. Robson Carnu, oh my, how has that gone in? How has that gone in? So Chi Adams picks up the ball, ball in, Carnu heads it, and Rafferty's just hit it right against Church. Oh, that's that. Oh, good start. Gone. Right. Ray heads it on to Holmes. What? 25 minutes into this game and I'm sweating buckets already. 
ball in. Tom Young's has done it again. Come on. He's done it again. Yes. Randall with a long ball over to Hazel Dean. Christ, I'm sweating already. Tom Young's. Those two up top, it's just something magical. But Jesus, 25 minutes in, it's been three goals already. I can't keep up. I can't keep up. Another corner comes in now. It's two all. Oh, my word. Our, de <laughs> Our defending from corners. I just, oh, I just don't know. I, <sighs> Damn it. Are we really going to get a third goal? Away from home against second place Sheffield United. I don't know. But a long ball goes up. Tom Youngs tries to flick it on. Turnbull's got it now. This is so end to end. What an absolutely crazy game of football. Glendon, do not get yourself sent off. Kuvala picks up in the middle. I've, I've seen him cause damage on home dressing room save. I know what he's capable of. But Hazel Dean plays it up. Surely that's, attack, that's a foul rather. No, nothing's going to be given. Passing around in the middle by Sheffield United. Keep strong, boys. Church on the ball. Turns. Charlie Horton with the save. What a save. Wh where do you even begin with that, second, with that first half? Unbelievable. I mean, I'm just going to make one change. Rafferty's getting absolutely run ragged. So I'm going to take him off and bring Louis Ramsey back on. Who's been out on loan recently, but he's back. Hopefully he can he can actually just shut up the left midfielder. Because Rafferty's been getting done left, right, and centre in this game. Oh, I can't I can't handle another half like that. I can't do it. I can't do it. Let's see, 60 minutes into the game. Bywater is looking absolutely exhausted. I don't want to take him off. I, I don't want to take him off because he's someone who can just create something out of nothing. But I think I might have to in a minute. Ricky Holmes now on the ball. What can he do? Passes it back to Glendon. Over to Bywater who is absolutely exhausted. He plays it back to Ramsey. Can he just play it down the line to Bywater? <sighs> what can he do now? He just looks tired. He's got no energy. He's got nowhere to run. Randall to Glendon to Youngs. Ball over to Holmes. Are we going to create something from this? Ricky Holmes with the ball in. Hazel Dean. He's done it. He's done it. Oh, my word. He's done it. 3-2. 3-2. We've got 20 minutes left. What do we do? What do we do? Chris Lester on for Bywater straight away. He's more defensive. But, oh, I just... Oh, wow. Wow. I can't believe we've actually scored three goals away from home. We, we don't do this. We don't score goals away from home. What is going on? Just team talk assertively. Calm down now, boys. Robson Carney, please do not break my heart. Reed. Adams. Whitmore, just get rid of it. Oh, thank God. Chris Lester, right. Please, are we going to break? Tom Youngs, put the ball back across. Ball back across. He scored! <laughs> scored 4-2 oh my days <laughs> I, I just I'm speechless <laughs> what is going on oh my what a game it's still 10 minutes left Randall Ball up to Hazel Dean is cleared. Oh, God. I've got to compose myself. Don't score. Don't score. Oh, saved. And there it is. Full time. 4-2 against Sheffield United. That is just incredible. But do you know what the mad thing about all of that is? We're only 10th. We're only in 10th position. And we're still two points off the playoffs. We have to beat Coventry now, otherwise it is game over. We, we've got to go and beat Coventry now. <sighs> Join me in a few seconds. We'll be at the point of game day. Can we pull it off? Can we pull it off? I don't know. See you in a few seconds. So here we go. We're back <sighs> for the final game. I am, I am shaking. I am proper shaking. We've got a chance. 
two points off the playoffs. If we win, we've got to pray that other results go our way. If we draw or lose, it's game over. I haven't changed a single thing on our team. I never change a winning team. The full 11 goes straight back out because they performed so well in that last game. Nothing gets changed. If you want to have a look at the Coventry team, please just pause the video, take a second to look. But I'm just going to skip straight into my team talk. Assertively, carry on from where you left off. Here we go. Again, FM Gods, if you're up there, you know what to do. So the main people we need to keep an eye on then are Portsmouth, Birmingham, Preston and Barnsley. So not many teams at all then. Not many teams at all. But first opportunity of the game goes the way of Coventry. I've got to remember that they are a very, very good team. They're a very good team. There's a reason why they're in the playoffs already. What more scores? Oh no, not the start we wanted. All stem from a corner, but ultimately O'Brien on the right-hand side there. Ball in. No one's anywhere near what more. I don't know what Charlie Horton's doing in goal. That is poor keeping. <sighs> One nil down already. Just tweaking around a couple of the tactics. But as things stand, I think Preston are currently winning. Yeah, Preston a bit. They've got bottom of the table AFC Wimbledon. <sighs> They're currently winning. And wow, what a safe. So Hazel Dean on the counter-attack now. Can we get anything? Ricky Holmes into the box. Tom Young's goal. Yes! We're back in the game. Come on! That's the perfect response. Get in. Tom Young's gets on the end of that. Beautiful ball in. I'm trying to work out how everything's going at the moment because Preston are currently beating AFC Wimbledon. They're AFC Wimbledon at the bottom of the table. So that result is kind of to be expected. Let me just have a little pause and think. So if we if we get into the lead, Coventry slip down to 70 points, we go on to 70 points. So it's a three-way tie between us, Coventry and Barnsley on 70 points. How are Barnsley doing? Where are they? They're nil-nil against Oxford, so really that's the game we need to keep an eye on. Goal difference, I haven't got a clue. I, I Honestly, I haven't checked my goal difference, I know nothing about it. Right, come on boys, just hold on till half-time. What more? To Thomas. Back to what more? Intercepted by Randall, but Hall Johnson keeps a hold of it. Watmore's back on it. He's causing us all kinds of problems. O'Brien turns. No. <sighs> right before half time. Duncan Watmore has been causing me problems the entire game. Shocking marking, and it's 2 1. Right, right before half time. Right, okay. I'm just going to. aggressively say where's your passion boys we're going to change things up we're going to go to the counter and we um we're going to go up to control rather go a little bit more aggressive Ramsey's going to come on for Rafferty because again he's not had a good game but other than that we'll keep things as they are for the time being we've got Sean Bat on the bench we can bring him on we've got Leicester on the bench a couple of midfield options so we've got something available but we've got to start getting a bit more on the on the ball because 38 percent possession is not good enough this is a massive second half massive massive so johnson with the long ball over to maynard do not score saved by horton good save so preston's still winning and barnes they're still drawing we've got to overturn this but it's important to just keep an eye on those results as well Max is not having a decent game, so I'm going to bring Sean Bat on for him. Target man, instructions, pump the ball into the box, attacking, and going route one. It's really early to do that, but I have faith in Sean Bat and Tom Young's up top. Come on, boys, come on. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening in these last few minutes, and the game is just slipping away. <sighs> Even with a goal now. And Oxford, of course Oxford are going to be beaten by us. Obviously. Obviously, of course they are. Oh, that last game gave me so much hope. And it's just been crushed in an instant. Unlucky, boys. This is the final league table then. I, I, God, I'm so... I'm absolutely devastated. I, on, I genuinely, before the game, I honestly thought we had a proper chance of doing this. I was so confident, 
but Coventry are there for a reason. And ultimately, first season in League One, we finish in 10th place. <sighs> oh, just... oh, Christ, what an ending. What an ending to a series. That That is going to be the final episode of Barnet Bound. I've just timed both the Spurs and the Barnet series at poor points during the year because of when I started doing YouTube, but... It's going to have to be the end of the Barnet Bound. Um, I'm going to come back and do a proper episode to round things up. And we'll talk about future pl uh, plans in that episode. But thank you so much for if you've watched today's video. Because it has been absolutely epic. So many highs. So many lows. Please give it a like. Comment what has been your favourite moment, moment of the Barnet Bound series. I'd be really interested to hear. But thank you very much for taking the time to watch the video. You guys are awesome. Really does mean a lot, your support. But thank you very much. And as always on the channel, until we see each other next time, adios.